Uh, hey, Chief. I might. What brings you to my lair? Bad news is what brings me. We've lost it. We lost. Lost what? Oh, no, 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 no. Not the, the Indiana, Indiana Jones, Jones license. license. Yeah. That Indiana Jones game you've been working on, it's cancelled. It's not happening. But the game is almost finished! Uh, too bad. No, but seriously, we were supposed to roll out the beta to play testers in a week. The game is almost finished. Oh, it's dead. It's dead and buried, I tell you. We can't... We can just give up like that. There has to be something that we can do about it. Well, you want to release the game anyway and hope they don't notice? What if we still release the game, but... Under a different name. But we'd have to change a lot of stuff to make it stand as an original game. I mean... Okay, let's talk about this. Because I'm not giving up. We spent so much time and effort working on that fucking game. But we need a completely different protagonist. I like the sound of that. I mean, the game isn't really referencing any specific movie in particular. It's a completely original adventure. The environments are new. The missions. I mean... Okay, so just... Let me get this straight. You want to make a game about a badass young archaeologist yeah. who uses guns and goes into forgotten temples while searching for priceless artifacts because he believes they belong in the museum. Yeah. But it's not Indiana Jones. Uh, yep. Yeah, we'll have to change more than the name, mate. No, honestly... If we modify the protagonist enough, that can work. Because we're not fucking changing the levels or the missions. That ship has sailed. Are you sure that nothing in the game except for the name and the protagonist is linked to the Indiana Jones universe? No, there, there's nothing that's really... Oh shit, the Nazis. We put the Nazis from Raiders of the Lost Ark. We gotta replace them by, by something. Um, communists? Nah, that's too on the nose. Yeah, our pirates? No. Ninjas? No, that's ludicrous. Uh, terrorists? Uh, I don't... Oh! Got it. Dinosaurs. Di dinosaurs? Jurassic Park was about a year ago and the world is still riding on the Dinomania waves. Oh yeah, that's brilliant, mate. So instead of plagiarizing one Spielberg franchise, you want to plagiarize two at the same time? Well, for starters, Spielberg didn't fucking invent dinosaurs. You know, they existed before. That's a shame, though. People really like shooting Nazis. Yeah, I know, but shooting at dinosaurs can be fun, I suppose. I hate to admit it. But I'm on board. Well, it's a great start. You're really selling this to me, you cheeky bastard. So, our protagonist, what do we do? I say that we should start by removing the hat. The hat? Yeah, that's a good first step, but we're gonna need a lot more than this. Gotta start somewhere, bro. Oh, and uh, the whip. The whip. We gotta remove the whip. What if we replace the whip by a second gun? Well, like in John Woo movies? That way we just clone the gun and make another identical one that would save time and effort. Okay, if you say so. What if we made the character even younger and more badass? Like, a lot of environments in the game are jungles, you know? All these forgotten, lost temples. So that got me thinking, maybe we could make the protagonist look like Tarzan? That, that's good, that's good. Tarzan or Conan. Uh, we should make him some kind of bodybuilder, you know? So, uh, yeah, tank top, short shorts. Don't you think it's a bit weird that we have a game about a tall nerd? I mean... It's an archaeologist. You don't really get more nerdy than that. But that nerd is also a bodybuilder that's ripped. You think people will buy that? Do you know the Hollywood actors who have the most diplomas, the highest education? N no, I, I do not know. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Dolph Lundgren. So you're telling me that the Hollywood actors with the highest level of education are the ones that were born and raised in Europe. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me very much. <laughs> it makes... Good point. That's <laughs> fair. Fair point. 
So we go on with the idea. We give him bodybuilder muscles. We make him look like Arnold. It's worth a shot. And I don't have any better ideas than that. So, uh, okay, I'm firing at the computer and I'm gonna start working on this um, right now as we speak. Let me change some values. So remove the hat and the whip. I'm gonna clone the gun real quick, just for, you know, proof of concept. Doesn't look good, but we can fix that. Uh, tank top, I actually have one in the assets from the NPCs. Yeah, okay. And yeah. short shorts, I have that too, for uh, reasons. So, that's a great start. Tarzan and Conan. What do they... Oh, long hair. Long hair is a good thing because it will help set our protagonist apart from the Duke Nukem and BJ Blazkowicz, etc. Uh, that's gonna be a bitch to animate though. But we can have like some kind of ponytail, I guess. That would, that would, that would work, that would make sense. That's nice. So, okay, I'm gonna go muscles by muscles because of the software, it's, uh, it's um, separate uh, numbers. Let's see. Shoulders, maybe? That's, uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I can Triceps. see the shape. Oh, pecs. Arnold has some huge hmm. pecs. We gotta make the pecs big and strong and pearly. And, oops, that was the wrong coefficient multiplicator. Oh, uh, I apologize. <laughs> That's the wrong number. You made him look like he has some big ass titties. <laughs> Let me fix this uh, real quick. Wait. What? Do not touch anything. Thank <music> you.